My name is Dr. Batvinov. I'm bariatric general surgeon from Department of Surgery. I have board certified in general surgery and performing minimally invasive laparoscopic surgeries. All bariatric surgeries or weight loss surgeries based on one of the main principles is less food consumption. So all surgeries are restrictive surgeries. One of the surgeries, laparoscopic gastric band, is purely restrictive. The band placed in the upper part of the stomach and restricting food consumption. Food gets stuck before that band, but it's not physiological procedure because the food started to get collected in the esophagus, which creating problems down the road. That's why this procedure was very popular a while ago, but right now it's went down to two to five percent of all bariatric surgeries. A lot of gastric band procedures are reversed, band removed, converted to gastric sleeve. Another procedure, which called gastric bypass, is a gold standard. It's the oldest procedure on the market with the highest weight loss, but it's the most complicated procedure. In this procedure, we have restrictive component, which is creating a small stomach pouch. And then we separating small bowel and reconnecting the small bowel to the part of the small stomach, to the pouch. This way we're rerouting. So we're bypassing part of the bowel and reducing absorption is creating malabsorption. With this procedure, we're creating toanastomosis. It's the most complicated procedure with specific short-term and long-term side effects and complications. Another procedure, one of the most popular procedure nowadays and most done, it's about 80 to 90% of surgeries is vertical slip gastrectomy or plainly gastric sleeve. With these procedures, we're removing part of the stomach, creating a tube, sleeve, or like size of banana, stomach, removing 80% of it. With this procedure, there is no anatomical change, but we're creating restriction, and the food is going to the same place where it's supposed to go. It's going to the stomach. Also, removing part of the stomach, we're removing hormone which produced in that part of the stomach, a hormone called ghrelin. This is a hormone of hunger. So by removing that, people feel less hungry, so they don't want to eat that often, or they feel that they, with a small amount of food, they're satisfied. Sometimes those patients need to be reminded to eat. So I think this is procedure is one of the best procedure right now. And it is a good procedure for a lot of patients, but obviously not for everybody. Sometimes bypass or even gastric band need to be considered.